What's up guys? Um, so I know you've been wanting to see a setup tour for like the past year and I putting it I've been putting it on delay because um, Well, I was actually planning on doing it a couple months ago But we're now we're finally gonna do it because I got my second PC So my whole setup is finally complete. There's not really anything else I can do and uh, Everything's good to go. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I have and talk about everything and uh, Yeah, I'm doing this on stream right now. So if I'm talking to chat then you guys on YouTube will know Anyways, I'm using my webcam to record and I'm just gonna go from top to bottom to show you guys everything that I have. First off, I guess I'll show you my chair. That's my chair. Um, I know a lot of people, they spend a lot of money on like really expensive chairs and you don't need to do that. I bought this at Staples for like a hundred bucks and all you need to do is buy this right here. It's like a memory foam cushion on Amazon and it, were, it like makes any chair the best chair in the world. So just do that. It's like $30 for this memory foam cushion. So for the setup itself, I have, uh, I live in an apartment. So up top here, I have some styrofoam panels, um, like soundproofing panels on the walls. I feel like that is mainly for looks, but it, it helps a lot with uh, the audio. So there's not a lot of echo. And there's also, it helps for like my roommate and and neighbors and stuff. Over here, Obviously the light right here. That's a studio light. Let me turn it off actually um, The reason I have this is because normally I have my light off in my room Because my light is like a, a yellow light and this is a white light So it helps a lot with the stream quality on the camera So that's just like a, a you can get this on Amazon. It's like it has a little tripod You guys can see that. yeah, it's like a little tripod right here and then there's like a light bulb and app that goes on it so That's pretty awesome. So on the right side. We have our little junk rat shrine this was kind of something that is pretty cool. I just wanted to have like a background because my when I had webcam before my my background is like really, really plain and simple is boring. So I thought maybe I'll get like a little shelf and I'll, I'll put some stuff on it. And underneath we have uh, some LED lights. So you can get this on Amazon, too. It's just like a LED strip and you it, this side is sticky. So you can stick it along the whole bottom and it just illuminates a whole bunch of G Fuel stuff. Um, we got the junk wrap poster. People ask me where I got that all the time. And I got that on Etsy, I'm pretty sure. It was like, you know, I think it's an art website. It's like Etsy. One of my viewers actually linked it to me. And then we have some other stuff like a Reinhardt. We have the Reinhardt pop, the Genji pop, the junk wrap pop, and some TwitchCon um, Baker Cup. I guess we can move on to like the PC stuff. So, for first of all, you guys are hearing me through this studio microphone, this right here. I have a, uh, a mic boom, I think that's what it's called, or the arm, which is pretty cool because I can move it side to side, lift it up. If I'm like off screen, I can just pick it way up in there and, and it's just out of my face. Um, but this is super, super good. The, the arm boom, this is like $100. You can get some cheap ones for like $20 that I used for a while. But this one's really good because it's, uh, it's good for turning. Um, that hurt. <laughs> was there a squeaky noise? I'm sorry guys. Uh, connected to that is my actual microphone. This is the studio microphone. It's called an AT2020. And I have the, the XLR version. So this XLR cable plugs into, I, don't, I actually don't know what this is called back here, but the cable goes into this right here. I think it might be like a mix amp or something. But anyways, the XLR cable goes into that. And then this is connected to the computer via USB. And this goes into my gaming PC. So my monitor, it's called a mixer. Okay, it's called a mixer. So my microphone, I use this microphone to, to talk to you guys on stream. And I also use it to talk to um, people in game through Overwatch. And I'm gonna talk about my two PC setup and I'll get into this a little bit more later on. But for now, I'm just gonna cover all of the, the hardware. So then my other, my other headset is this right here. This is an Astro A40 TR with Mixamp Pro. It's like $250, but I've been using this for probably, oh man, I don't even know. It like, I'm, I'm gonna say like three or four years. It's been a really long time. I used to use this on Xbox 360, I believe, or Xbox One. Um, it's actually, you can use this on, on everything. You can use it on PS4, you can use it on Xbox, you can use it on uh, PC. It's pretty sick. It's super comfortable. I can wear this for like 20 hours without taking it off and it's super comfortable. Super high quality, I love it. And it's the best sets I've ever had. I use this for audio. This is just a, a standard cable that plugs into the 
the mix amp, which is right here. Uh, the mix amp is what connects the headset to the PC because your, your headset's plugged right here. And this cable runs to my gaming PC. I don't know if you guys can see that. This cable runs to my gaming PC, which connects here. And I can use this for audio, like changing audio. And I can even do some other stuff. Um, but there's a lot of stuff you can do with the, the Astra headset. It's super, super high quality. I re really recommend it if you want to put down the money. By the way, I'm going to have the list of all my parts uh, in the description. And it's also on my Twitch channel, as you guys can see right here. Uh, this is my, my Twitch channel. It's in the info section right here, so if you ever want to see it, uh, it has links to everything too. So my keyboard is actually called the, the CM Storm Quickfire EK. Uh, I don't know what company, I think it's called, oh, it's by Cooler Master, I'm pretty sure. Um, but the reason I really like this keyboard is two reasons. Uh, it has different color, like WASD, which I like a lot, but that's whatever. But another thing I like it is it has no numpad. So it's a short keyboard, it has no numpad, and it's a mechanical keyboard too. So this keyboard's awesome, I love it a lot. We have the mouse, which is really important. I've gone through, I think, since I've been on PC for, I've been on PC for about two years now. I think I've gone through like four different mouse or mice, however you say it. I started with like a, uh, I think it was like a Logitech, maybe like a G403 or something like that. And I didn't really like it. And I went, actually, no, I started with an FK1. And I, I love the FK1 a lot, but I had to get rid of it because the, the, uh, I think, well, actually, it's kind of a funny story. What are these called? The, the gliders or the sliders on the bottom? What, what, the, what are these called, chat? The feet? The mouse butt? Pads? Yeah, whatever. The, the mouse, like, rubber pads or whatever. On the FK1, they they were, like, tearing off. And I didn't realize that you could just replace them. I, I think a lot of people actually buy... Uh, a lot of people buy, like, hyper glides or something like that. They, they buy that. And I didn't realize that... You could just replace those and i thought the mouse was just done for so i said fuck it i just got rid of it and i bought a new mouse and i'm pretty sure i bought like a g403 and i didn't like it a lot because the one thing i like about the fk1 is that i had like a flat top with my hand is i have big knuckles so i need something with a flat top because if i use something with a rounded top it hurts my hand a lot if i play for long periods of time so i got rid of the logitech one and i went to the i believe i went to fk2 um and I love the FK2 a lot, but then I bought the, the final mouse because of all the hype and it's like a super light mouse. And I like this mouse a lot too, but the main problem with the final mouse is that it has more of a rounded top. So it does hurt my hand, but it's not that big of a deal. The reason I like it a lot is because it's super light and the cable, the cable is actually so insanely light. It's like non-existent. It's like a fucking feather. Like you don't even feel it. It feels like a wireless mouse. So I do recommend that a lot. But really, it just comes down to preference and just get whatever works for your hand. If you have a small hand, get a small mouse. If you have a big hand, get a big one, whatever. You, you do you. But I do like that mouse a lot. And I also like the Zowie FK2 a lot. Those, those are my two favorite. Um, next, we have the, the mouse bungee. So this right here is actually, you're supposed to put the cord through like that. And it makes it so you can, it's like moves up and down and it covers like the mouse slack, but it never fucking works. So I use it as a paperweight. And what I recommend is just go out to go outside and find a big ass fucking rock and just put it on top of the, the cord and you're good. I've had these speakers for like 20 years or something. I'm pretty sure I bought it at a garage sale probably like 30 years ago. But anyways, it's just some piece of shit Logitech speakers. They work great. And there's a, a I think it's called a subwoofer down there. It's for bass. Yeah, you guys can't really see but anyways there's some bass uh, i got speakers i never really use them because i'm just like you know I, I only ever play on my pc when i'm streaming and I, I just use my astro headset but yeah all right so now that we talked about that we have a mouse pad yo mouse pad so this thing's like 14 feet long what i recommend is getting a, a fucking huge ass mouse pad because it covers your whole desk and you, you're not going to run out of space when I first came to PC from console, dude, holy shit, like getting used to mouse was kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. And having a big mouse pad helps a lot. So, and what's crazy is I even run out of mouse pads still sometimes. So I recommend getting like a huge one. I think this is called like a glorious, I'll have I'll have the link, but it's called like a glorious mouse pad. 
Uh, you can also get like the the CQK Q plus plus or something. Like there's a lot of popular ones. Yeah, Steel Series. Uh, yeah, Steel Series is really popular. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Whatever. Get a fucking big mouse pad. Um, what else can we talk about? We covered all this. Now we can talk about the monitor, I believe. Let's see what else is back here. Uh, yeah, we covered everything. So I want to talk about the monitors. Uh, we have this main monitor right here is a ViewSonic monitor. It's a 240 hertz monitor. I believe it's called like the XGF. Actually, let me see exactly what it's called. It's called the, the XG2530. Um, it's a 25 inch 240 hertz monitor. It plays at 1080p with one millisecond response time. So this is like top of the line for, for gaming if you take it super serious. Uh, people who play like competitive Overwatch, you want a 240 hertz monitor because it's super high quality and you want 1080p with a one millisecond response rate. If the thing is though, this monitor is like $350 or around that range, like $400. And 240 hertz monitors are really expensive. So if you can't afford it, I do at the very minimum, I recommend a 144 hertz monitor. They're, they're not that much. I believe you can get some for like maybe 150 bucks, uh, 200 bucks. But 144 hertz is like at the very minimum you should get that. But I recommend 240. I love 240. Does it have G-Sync? I think they have, ViewSonic has a lot of different types of monitors. They do have G-Sync monitors, I believe. So check out their website. They are a sponsor of mine, by the way. So I'm not just saying this because they're a sponsor. Like 240 Hz monitors are fucking amazing. Like if you play on 240 Hz, it's actually the reason why I got a two PC setup. I now have a two PC setup. Uh, you guys can't really see. Uh, maybe I'll get a light down there to show you. But I have two PC setup, and that's one of the main reasons why I wanted it is because I wanted 240 frames all the time when I streamed. Uh, so yeah, this monitor is amazing. It's plugged in with a display port from this monitor to my gaming PC down here. And we can talk more about that later. So this monitor over here is a Acer monitor. This was my original 144 Hertz monitor. This is what I gamed on for like a year before I got the, the ViewSonic 240 Hertz. And Acer, it's perfect, it's fine. 144 Hertz monitor is great. Like I said, I recommend 144 Hertz. It works fine, but 240 is way better. Uh, so now I just use this as my second monitor. It's connected to my stream PC and I, I use it for chat and running uh, Streamlabs. Okay, so Stream Deck. This Stream Deck is pretty sick. Basically, it is a an extra keyboard. It's for macros. So you guys aren't really gonna see through my webcam, but there's different buttons on here. Like if I hit this button, it'll go up to, to the Overwatch. It, it's plugged into Streamlabs, so it pulls up different scenes. If I hit this button right here, I can play music like Spotify. If I hit this button right here, I can mute my headset microphone. Uh, if I hit this one, I can pull up the, the pull overlay on stream. Um, you know, I can do a lot of different things. Like at the beginning of the stream, if I hit this button, it opens up like eight programs on my PC and it pulls up everything that I need to run the stream. So I don't have to like open up a bunch of different links and, and programs, it just does it for me. Um, so yeah, it's just pretty sick. I can like lower the volume and raise the volume of Spotify. Stream Deck's pretty awesome. Uh, it helps a lot when you have two PCs set up because normally all these, these configurations would be on my keyboard, but I can't, if I have two PCs set up, I can't use my keyboard for my second PC while I'm tabbed in Overwatch. So Stream Deck is awesome because that's plugged into my, it's plugged into my streaming PC. Yo Prodigy, thank you for the Prime sub. Thank you so much, man. So as I was talking about my Astro, my Astro is plugged into my gaming PC, which is right here. And that's how I hear, hear uh, audio and game. And my mouse is plugged into my gaming PC. And my keyboard is plugged into my gaming PC and that's just simply how I play the game. And then I have my monitor plugged into my gaming PC. But when you have a two PC setup, you have one PC dedicated to playing the game and you have another PC, it's kind of dark, but it's right here, dedicated to running the stream. And what you have to do is you have to figure out how to get all of your game feed, like your game, to transfer over to your stream PC so everyone can see it on Twitch. And how I do that is I have a capture card called Elgato. It's the Elgato 4K60 Pro capture card. 
And the reason I have that is so I can, here, let me put this down a little bit. The reason I have that is so I can stream uh, 1080p 60 FPS with 240 frames to my, uh, to my stream PC over there, which is this. So the Elgato basically, uh, I know I'm saying basically a lot, but the Elgato plugs into my stream PC. Let me put it on a light for you guys. The Elgato plugs into my stream PC right there. Oh yeah, by the way, check out this, uh, this, this wire configuration guys. Yeah, I have good cable management. As you can see, um, yeah, I got zip ties along the wall and yeah, we're good, dude. Duct tape back there. Um, and I have like, you know, this LED blue light. Yeah, there's a band-aid holding that up. So the cord's not in the way. Wait, what the fuck? The cord fell out of the band-aid. I'll fix that later. But what I was saying was the Elgato is basically the bridge that connects both of the PCs together. The Elgato is cut is plugged into my streaming PC and then I have an HDMI cable that connects from my gaming PC to the Elgato and that's how I get all the video and audio over to my stream PC plain and simple all you got to do is have all the software and you can get it up and running super easy my hardware for my PCs I'm gonna have them in the info section so if you guys want to see if you want to see the parts list I'll just have that in the, the description below and you can see the hardware for both my PCs other stuff I can mention is I have right here that the light is on. That is a surge protector. And basically all my cables run into that because it's a surge protector and it's also a battery backup. So if I lose power, uh, my PCs won't just turn off. I have a battery backup on that. And uh, this is the, the, for the speaker, it's the, the base, the base, the gachi base. But Ooh, my internet. So my internet's fucking Craigasm, dude. Fucking Craigasm. I have AT&T, I live in Orlando. I have AT&T and I have fiber internet. So that means I have 1,000 upload, 1,000 download. So my internet's fucking mint. It's crazy. It's it's the fastest internet I've ever had. So awesome. I guess what else I could talk about is this desk. I actually love this desk a lot. I got this at Ikea. It's called the, uh, it's called the Ikea Bacant. And it's not the mechanical version. It's just the standard version. And I think it was like $300 or $200, but it's like really, really long and it's really wide too. So I can fit everything on it. All right, so the only other thing I can mention is that the two PC setup with the Elgato. So the two important things in terms of audio is the microphone. So this studio microphone is how you guys are hearing me in the streaming PC. But I also wanna use this microphone on my gaming PC so I can use that to talk to people in game. So I have to wire this. Um, this is the studio microphone is plugged into my gaming PC via via the mixer with USB, and I have auxiliary cords right here. Let me see if you guys can see that. I have an aux cord in the back of this box that goes into my streaming PC. So that makes it so I can use that to talk to you guys on stream. The other thing I need to do is I explained before my Astro headset is plugged into my gaming PC, so I can hear Overwatch and all the sounds on my gaming PC. But I need to be able to have this plugged into my stream PC as well, because I need to be able to hear like, uh, if I play music on my stream PC, or I need to be able to hear like sub notifications, stuff like that. So I have, again, I have an aux cord that plugs into my Astro mixer that just goes straight into my streaming PC. And then this is also important to note, I bought this right here. It's called like a, called like a ground loop or something. It's a little like $10 thing. You plug the aux cord into this and then this it basically it just takes away the buzzing sound because if you just run an aux cord from from this straight to the pc you have like a really heavy buzzing noise and that removes that uh i could i guess i could mention why i do the two pc setup the reason why i have the two pc setup is because when you stream and play on only one pc there's it, it it's a really heavy load so in game, it's almost impossible to get 240 frames all the time. And it's really noticeable when you have a 240 Hertz monitor and you're, you're like mid fight, if like a more is using ultimate, you start getting like a lot of jitteriness and a lot of lag and your input from your mouse is just, it's just not, it just doesn't feel good. It's terrible. 
Like when I play this game 10 hours a day, I want to have the highest quality I can and it feels terrible. So the reason I got the two PC setup is so I could have that running Overwatch and I could have that running the stream. And now when I play Overwatch on stream, it's like I'm playing offline. It's absolutely insane. I get I get 300 frames. I get no input lag. It's perfect. Everything runs mint. Like it's it's so awesome. I don't think I really missed anything. Um but that pretty much covers my whole setup. Uh the the one shitty thing about my setup is that it's in my room. As you guys can see, that's my bed back there. And the reason that sucks so bad is because if my girlfriend's like if she's going to sleep or something, you know, I have to be like really quiet on stream or I just can't stream at all. Um, but yeah, I want the one, the number one thing I want right now, well, there was two things I wanted. I wanted a two PC setup and we just got that. And I also wanted, I want my own streaming room, but won't be able to have that till maybe next year. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the crazy hair and the beard and the, the setup. And that's it. I show the specs. <laughs> Oh yeah, yo it goes. What's up, guys? Oh my god, <laughs> this is Nala, and this is the other one, Simba. Simba, wanna say hi? Perfect timing, I know for real. Yeah, that pretty much covers everything. Um, I think my whole setup is basically complete. You know, the only thing I want is uh, I want my own streaming room, but. What can you do? Oh yeah, one more thing um, that I didn't mention with the two PC setup is that I actually have a software program that connects. I only have to use one mouse and one keyboard between both of my PCs. All I have to do is click a button and I can move it over to the other one easy. Um, but if that bugs out, I do have uh, I have a second keyboard. It's just it's a wireless keyboard and it has a mouse like pad on it. So this makes it so if my software ever bugs out, I can use my streaming PC and like reset it or whatever, or just turn my PC off. Yeah, that basically covers everything. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed my whole setup. I know this was a scuffed video, but I feel like it's, uh, you know, it's natural, so whatever. But that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Adios.